Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today I am making a fall collection of my uh, resin and flower petal pendants. So basically I'm pretty terrible at having my camera be at full charge when I first start uh, filming these resin projects and then it has to charge and I can't pause with the resin making because uh, it will harden if I take a break. <laughs> so I was only able to record part of me making these but I think you will get the idea. The main things that I'm doing differently this time is I'm using more fall colors so I'm combining my yellows and oranges which are sunflowers and marigolds and some of the darker oranges and um, reddish sort of colors are nasturtiums and I have <laughs> quite a large quantity of all of these petals because I grew them in my vegetable garden which is quite a bit more extensive than uh, our flower garden slash the flowers we keep in pots up on our patio so I have <laughs> very very many of those. The sunflowers are volunteers and the other flowers are supposedly um, good at keeping bugs away and I was trying to use as little artificial caustic uh, bug repellent as possible. So that's why so many flowers of these types grew. Uh, the other thing I'm doing differently is I went to the shop where they have really cool teeny tiny charms again and picked out uh, some more fallish charms. So I got some more leaves and also some very cute little silver pumpkins that I love very much. Resin wise, I tried something different today uh, because I put in some of my charms ahead of time, let those dry, and then um, put more resin on top and put the flower petals in on a second layer and that's what I did with the gears pendant and so the reason I did that is that the first time I tried to work with um, the gears I laid them all out so it looked like they were intersecting and I even had one of those little um, watch what are those called minute hands or little hands for a clock and had it all arranged um, in a steampunk kind of looking way uh, and then when I put the flowers on top and tried to arrange them I had to swish them around so much that the gears also ended up smushed around and didn't look right when it came out so I did it in two parts this time and that worked really well. I wasn't sure if the two different layers of resin would bond to each other um, or not but when I was finished there wasn't even a line of sealing or anything so I think that the second layer of resin softened the previous layer and bonded with it really well so that was very nice and another thing I'm doing a little differently in this video is I am showing you my wrapping process just for one of the pendants because it would get fairly repetitive and also it worked a lot better to um, cut out in between parts and show you real time of me doing it and so that's a lot um, more labor intensive editing wise as opposed to just speeding it up but I think you can get the gist of how my wire wrapping process goes as I use my coppery colored wire on this leaf pendant. Uh, and I also am showing you that I'm turning a couple of these into pins instead of pendants because I really enjoy <laughs> collecting pins. I don't have all that much that I wear them on. Sometimes I put them on the collar of my coats uh, and sometimes I put them on uh, ball caps that I wear. I only wear ball caps if I'm going out in the sun. Maybe that's what all people do with ball caps, but I avoid the sun at all costs, so I don't end up wearing them very often. But when I do, I do like to have a couple of cute pins in them. But I enjoy collecting pins, uh, even if I don't ever wear them. <laughs> so I thought that other people might enjoy that as well. And so that's what I did with both of my little pumpkin designs, and I think they are very cute. I have also, uh, since filming this, gone out and gotten a bunch of new molds um, because Hobby Lobby suddenly um, stocked a bunch more different stuff in their casting resin section, a bunch of new molds, some tints to change the color of your resin, and just, and actually they are now selling pressed flowers to put in so if for some reason I run out of my garden flowers I can actually buy some and that would be very handy. Fortunately right now I have a huge backlog that may just last me until next spring but it was very nice because there are some very cool new 
molds and some of them have little holes in them so I won't have to necessarily wrap future ones I can just put them right on a bit of wire and that way there will be less weight to them and they will be more likely to be able to use them as earrings and personally I own a lot more pairs of earrings than uh, necklaces so I think that might be something that people will enjoy more and I also got a bunch more pin backs so now I have multiple different uh, methods besides the safety pins that I put on the back of these. I have um, some of the ones that you see on a lot of enamel pins and also some more old-fashioned ones that have those sort of flip around <laughs> um, things that hold the little needle. Anyway, you'll see them in the next video. That will explain much better than me trying to verbally tell you what they look like. So uh, I am very excited to be making more resin stuff with all these new materials. Oh, and I also have some ring molds now uh, that I can use to make ace rings. So I'm very excited about that. I've <laughs> bought several different black materials that I might use because, you know, flower petals don't usually come in black. Some of them will darken to uh, brown um, instead of keeping their color when you press them, but I haven't found any black ones yet. <laughs> So there will be some experimenting in that area. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a happy fall and I will see you in the next video. Bye!